reason why I say this is bogus because we we see what they're trying to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is beautiful too because we're in that time where they want to persecute. First of all, the, the, the Israelites are black. It's not a thing of black Israelites. Like there's a there's a black Israelites. You got white Israelites. You got purple Israelites. You got green Israelites. You got yellow is no. This and we say so called the so called blacks that are scattered through. Of, of Negro and, and Indian descent scattered throughout the four corners of the earth are the true descendants of, of Israel. They're the real Israelites. We're not saying that the Israelites is a black thing, but that's how the media has been paint, paint, painting it for the longest. Uh, what they call it? Be um, black Israelites or B-I-H black uh, B-H-I black Hebrew Israelites. You know. That's Hebrew. Interpret. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. This is um you know a little my little two sit response um upon the elder elder Manatazak he did a show entitled this shit is bogus man you know and um you know as you see on the title he I let the video play a little bit from him uh breaking it down you know this woman calling herself the lion queen which is no such thing as queen okay because queen go back to uh you know the etymology the word queen it goes back to being a whore you know, so none of none of the uh, women, the daughters of Israel, of the Israelites, not the black Hebrew Israelites, but the Israelites, okay, were queens. You know, if they were called uh, a title, it would be what princess. All right. Now it says, um, she says, uh, says she's a black Israelite. And as the elder was breaking it down, I was thinking, you know, I brought five brothers to watch the video. Because we're in that time with Esau, you know, out of nowhere, you know, in the blink of an eye, you know, it could be persecution, you know, because it will be, you know, upon the Hebrew Israelites and not the black Hebrew Israelites, because like the elder was breaking it down, you know, it's not a thing of such of yellow Israelites, purple Israelites, green Israelites, black Israelites. No, we're Hebrew Israelites. All right. When you uh, excuse me. When you um, call upon, you know, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, what 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 was his nationality? <laughs> okay, because a lot of you, you know, those that's in these government churches and believe in Christianity, you call upon the name uh, Jesus Christ, which really you should look that up, or you should get, you know, really should learn from the prophets and know that, you know, Jesus Christ. You know, the letter J didn't come around to what? The 16th, 17th century. All right. So how can his name even start with a J? You know, that's that's a flag right there. An eyebrow raise. Number two, you know, we understand it through history that, you know, this character of Jesus Christ goes back to uh, Serapis Christus. You know, then later on, Cesare Borgia from the Borgia family. All right. But what was who you call ignorantly called Jesus Christ what was his nationality because according to the Bible he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah okay just like uh, the so called white man he's in Hebrew wasn't Esau Jacob's brother okay didn't they have the same father which was Isaac Eve, as the scriptures as you read the scriptures tell you that they both shall what have uh create their nation okay genesis 25th chapter and you know esau came out with his people edom they be, they was called edomites you had jacob which had 12 sons became what israel because later on jacob name was turned to israel all right and um you had uh you know, you got Hebrew Edomites just like just as well as you got Hebrew Israelites. All right. So with Esau playing on this word, the black Israelites or black Hebrew Israelites, 
it's all to uh, demonize and to, you know, to, to mock your inheritance as a so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Hispanic, Native Seminole Indian. You know, all of you so-called uh, my so-called minorities today, all right, which you know consist of you uh, Negroes and Hispanics, like I said, West Indians, Haitians, okay, Native and Seminole Indians. They're mocking your inheritance, and they even got you mocking your inheritance. You know, another question to ask: Where was you before Africa? Okay, because because here in uh, the Western world, they teach you this history. That you came from Africa But on the eastern side of the world They learn the same history But they they even go even further You know, they don't tell you Where you was before Africa Alright And where we was, we, we was in Israel And we flee Roman persecution You know, that's why I, The boat of the Israelites, well let me say The southern kingdom went down Into Africa, alright And was there for a thousand some years Alright, until we was, uh you know, dragged out and put on cargo slave, slave ships and brought here to America, which is, um, what's that, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, all right, so, you know, I say all that to say this, uh, for brothers, you know, we got to stay on point, and we always got to be ready, you know, being ready for the end, because, you know, we're in this captivity, we all got our own life and we, we all come forth, you know, to do the works of the Lord. But remember, you know, at any moment, you know, the scriptures say, uh, which I want to get uh, changed into a low estate. At any moment, you know, you don't want to be comfortable. You know, it's hard. To, it's easier said than done because you get into a routine. You know, you do what you do. You got things mapped out. You know, you whatever, you know pushing forth the truth first but other things you're doing taking care of business whatever but you don't want to be comfortable you know being comfortable is being reckless and and also not uh ready you know when you're come when you're not comfortable you're ready you're ready for the lord to come you know how many times brothers where you know you was you know shit ain't going right and you fucking pissed man like fuck this shit man you know and you don't give a fuck, man. Meaning in a good way. You know, not in a give a fuck way like you're going to go out there and be violent. But, like, you don't give a fuck. You wish this shit, you know, the Lord destroyed this place right now. That's when you're ready, man. That's when you're surely ready. You know, that caring, the feeling of caring for this and that, you know, and thinking you're going to lose out. You don't want to lose. That That's being comfortable, man. You know? I uh, believe the scriptures say about, um, I think it's in Ezekiel. Uh, but I heard, uh, damn, um, I think it was, uh, I think it was said something around the lines of, um, I think Ezekiel and, uh, I forgot who else as the prophet were looking to save themselves. Rough Salakia. Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to butcher it, but, um, but we have to be at that point, you know, and be ready, you know, may the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, comfort us with the word, you know, his spirit, you know, because, you know, with sudden, sudden, um, Sudden fear like to creep up, you know. You know, these devils are planning um, you know, something big upon us. So you gotta remember that persecution is is gonna come. Alright. So, you know, I don't want to keep going on. Let me get a uh, precept here. First off, I want to get second Peters. Because really, you know, this is out of our hands. You know, we went out. We taught the word of the Lord as the Lord told us to. And now we just waiting on the Lord, you know, to fulfill the prophecy. But, you know, for him to protect us and to, and, and to, to bring us to salvation. You know, this is all of the Lord's work, man. You know. So this is Second Peter's chapter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. All right. Well, never fall. And, and that's important because we, we, we put forth this work first and we do all we can for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is giving diligence, you know, being occupied in the truth, putting up videos, you know, constantly going out, you know, like today, today is the day of, um, we go out and camp, all right, today's Saturday, it's 1144, and um, it says, if you do these things, ye shall never fall, 
all right so we'll never fall because we what you know as paul said um endured all, all the way to the end you know uh so like you finish finish this course you know we got to finish the course all right so let me read one more time wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure so you have to be in a mindset right now of work you know diligence in your how about you what's that in revelations uh he that keepeth his garments blessed if he that keepeth his garments and not walk naked all right it says for if ye do these things ye shall never fall so that's how you give diligence excuse me that's how you give diligence to make your calling and the election sure all right so now i want to go to um Surat because uh at any moment man you know even though we still waiting upon the force of the chip you know it could be sometime next year whenever you know when these esau start clamping down and this place america is falling you know you got to look for esau as a roaring lion you know he's going to be out as a roaring lion looking to devour the, the prey and we're the ones he's preying upon all right but we have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have hope. You know, as it's written, it's, uh, what's that? Wisdom of Solomon, you know, he think. Matter of fact, I get that. I get that. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that right now. Because you devils think that, um, you know, shit is sweet. You know, you think you're in power, but you're, you're not really in power. You're doing what the Lord uh, t uh, 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 telling you to do. You're doing what the Lord wants you to do, I should say. Um, Wisdom of Solomon too. And uh, let me see here. Right now, uh, it says, let us, this is Esau's mindset. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Because they want to see, you know, if the Lord is going to be for us. All right. We out there prophesizing, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. And these devils are challenging the Most High. They want to see the Most High's power. It says, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of the Most High. He will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with a despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. So they want to see our humbleness and they want to prove our sufferings in the, in the Lord. That's why, you know, the prophets start with our apostles and elders of great millstone. You know, the men on down teaching this truth and 100 percent truth are telling you guys that, look, man. We all, as the scriptures say, we always band about in the dying of the Lord because Yahweh Shai suffered. And if we're joint heirs of Yahweh Shai, that means we're going to suffer too. And that suffering is the patience, the waiting, you know, bearing the punishment for serving Yahweh Shai. All right. Being humble. Yahweh Shai suffered a grievous death, man. You know, a grievous death. All right. It says that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. All right. Let us condemn him with a shameful death. So these devils, they're looking to shame us with a shameful death because of what we speak about, what we're prophesizing about. You know, these devils are mad, man. What's that? Revelation 12 and 12. The devil cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. These devils are mad. So, you know, I'm going to finish the scripture. I just want to go back to the eldest uh uh, uh, topic which he had put up. Let's see, I get that woman. You know, uh, this article he's seen in the New New York Post on how you know this woman saying she's a black Israelite. You know, she's a bugged out ass woman, man. A, a a lying queen. What the hell is that? You know. And it's just also you know rings a bell that that you know they can come up with anybody and say they're Hebrew Israelite to bring dirt upon us. You know, any they, they could stage anything. It could be anybody, any celebrity, any person, and could come out and do something and say in the name of being a black Israelite. And that's going to bring trouble upon us that's really serving the Lord. It's truth and sincerity, you know. So Esau, you know, he, he, he keep, you know, headlining us briefly, you know. You know, he's not letting the page go by without making mention because at a, at a time... All right. The Lord is going to allow persecution and that's the test of our faith. All right. But the Lord said he would save us out of it. That's the kicker, man. The Lord want to see our faith, but we're going to be saved out of it. You know, you devils are going to slavery, man. You know, he that killeth the innocent, man.
scriptures talk about how the men of the Lord um, cry out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You know, you crying out because this place, place is wicked and these devils want to put you to death because they don't like the fact that you're speaking against their wicked uh, king, queendom, man. All right. So let me continue. It says, um, uh, verse 19, let us examine him with the despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with the shameful death for by his own sayings, he shall be respected. You see? So they want to take us up on that word, which we speaking of, which is Yahweh Shai's word. They want to take us up on that challenge, you know? So, you know, being ready is not being comfortable, you know? Being ready is not being comfortable because if you're comfortable, you're not ready. And I'm saying that for myself first and also, you know, it was the spirit when the elder was uh, uh, teaching, you know, I, I just wanted to put a video on there and say my two cents because it's any, any moment, man, when this thing go down, okay? You know, be knowing that you're going to be changed. I'm going to get that scripture. Uh, this is verse 21. Such things they did. Of not, not, this is the kicker. All right. It says such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness have blinded them. As for the mysteries of Yahweh, they knew them not. Neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, nor discern a reward for the blameless souls. That's the elect. All right. A reward is coming to the elect, man. It says, For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, going back to uh, the serpent in the garden, and they that do hold on his side do find it. Because we know that you Edomites are the sons of the wicked. All right? Even going all the way back to that serpent in the garden, which was a man that deceived Eve. Okay, and then Cain, then Esau. All right, so now let me get the scripture I originally was gonna get, and uh, and hope hopefully this lesson is edified, edifying. You know, maybe I title no. Well, I gotta put the response because this is a response video. But uh, being comfortable is not being ready. Uh, Sirach two. Um, I start at one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Now this goes, this is a principal scripture for us brothers in the truth that's dealing in the, in the word now when you're coming in. But guess what? It's going to be uh, challenged. You know, it's going to be put at test, I should say, in, in the darkest hours when, when these persecution hours come. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mightest, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because we want spiritual powers, man. You know, the Lord's willing, you know, to, to, to clamp down on you devils, man. You know, it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And that's the point, you know, being changed to a low estate that was coming in my mind this scripture right here in verse four when thou art changed to a low estate because being comfortable is not ready you know next thing you know you feel like you you're missing out you look you're thinking back on things you know you can't believe it's happening right now you know they, they, that's how that sudden sudden fear creep up that demon man that demon because why you know you you was comfortable and in, in, in the way that you're living here all right the Lord said to hasten the day. You know, he said, uh, pray for a few days unto this place. So it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right. So we're going to be put at a great fire of adversity, man. You know, a, a great suffering, man. You know, well, you know, it's a light affliction, as the Lord said, but. You know, we're going to be challenged. All right. Now, I'm not uh, doing this video to put fear in brothers. This is to put give you more faith in the Lord, because we just read in Wisdom of Solomon that, uh, you know, these things that Esau imagined. But he couldn't discern the righteous reward that is going to be, be given to the elect because the Lord got our back, man. The most high what he's doing is setting these devils up and he's going to show his power. 
through us, man. We're a part of the Lord. So all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call out Lah Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord moves like no other, man. He's not a cheeser. He's a he's more than a, a master chess player. He is the chess board. Okay? He is the pawns. He is the 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 uh the board itself, the game itself. He created it, man. You know? He's more than a master. Alright, so it says, believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. So that's what we got to do. It says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest you fall. And that's right, because a lot of men are going to fall. That's why we tell you, hey, man, this truth, be sincere and just teach the truth. Because may the Lord have mercy on your spirit. He, he, uh, you know, he comfort you in the spirit and have you ready for the day of the battle. Because we're not ready in the flesh. We could only be ready in the spirit to receive what's before us. What tribulation we're going to go through, man. The Lord got to in intensify our spirit to be ready in that in that manner, man. Ain't none of us, well, I can't say that. Some brothers been in the army. Some brothers probably been, you know, through battlegrounds, shot pistols and shot people before, you know. But we don't do that on a daily basis. We don't see uh, uh, people dying uh, 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 left and right, you know like that we're not dealing with survival mode right now you know we're in this uh uh the prison you know we're in this prison going through uh the, the rat race so to say you know through esau's maze his traps it says for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity believe in him and he will help thee order thy way of right and trust in him ye that fear the lord wait for his mercy and go not aside lest you fall so if you choose to go any other way besides the Lord, like take that chip, that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, then guess what? You're going to fall. You're going to be had in derision and you're going to be trodden under the foot. All right. It says, verse eight, ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. So it's really boiling down. It's boiling down who really believe in the Lord. All you guys out there that of the circumcision that knowing you're Israelites and you teach, you know, you got this fame, you got this reputation, you know, you, you know, you know, you, you a guru, you a super duper Israelite, you know, you got the fancy clothes. Hey, you guys going to fall hard, man, because it's really boiling down to who really believe we're going to be put into a, a, a position of pressure, you know, pressures pr pressing against us to the point where, you know, people, men, 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 are, men are going to lose faith. You know, I hope not to be that one. That's why we do I do these shows in sincerity, man. You know, and hope the Lord have mercy upon me and my soul, man. And to uh, 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 deliver me in this day. You know, keep me safe. You know, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. So it's going to really boil down to the word belief. Okay, believing in the Lord. So who really truly believe in the Lord? You know, right now. Society is running. You can put your camera on. You can memorize scriptures. You can study whatever, man. And you could do these shows, but it's gonna come to a point where it's really who really believe in your how about your how shot when your flesh is being uh, put to test, you know, against uh, against the evils, man. It says verse nine: Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord. And was confounded Or did any abide in his fear And was forsaken Or whom did he ever despise That called upon him Alright So that's why we also tell you guys The name of the Lord Okay Which is the name of the Father is Yahweh And the Son's name is Yahweh Shai Is very important If you don't call upon that name You can't call the Lord Whatever you want to call him Alright You can't call him Yo play yogurt As the nigga said from IUIC. Okay, you can't call him Jesus Christ. You can't call him Jesus. The Lord is not going to answer. Right now, we're truly in a time where the Lord has opened up his hand and uh, uh, to the elect. You know, what's that? Proverbs, the first chapter, second chapter. He said, but no man regarded. So he said he will mock when your fear come. All right. Right now, the way the, the, the way to get to the Lord is 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 uh the doors of repentance is open until the Lord don't uh, bring back his hand and the doors are closed 
All right. So it says, of whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And 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 um, that's why it, it goes back to your faith. All right, that the gift that the Lord gave you, believing in the Lord, and and remembering the things we once knew, which is the accounts of uh the prophets when they went through their hardship. Paul, uh uh, you know Peter, all of them, man. Isaiah, Jeremiah, all of the hardship they went through. You know, I, I'm thinking of Paul right now when uh, he was rejoicing. Uh, what was it, Paul and Barnabas? No, yeah, I think so. Sorry, I forgot to like it, but it was Paul and the brother. They was in a jail cell, and and uh, they was rejoicing in the Lord. You know, they was rejoicing because they knew that the Lord was doing forth a great work. See, the Lord mind is not our mind. See, the Lord can put us into a a a a, a, a severe, a almost put the death position, just to prove His point and to show His power. Man, that's what the Lord do. So expect. The unexpected. That's that's what it is. Expect the un unexpected of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, because a lot of guys believe, hey man, I, I, shit, it ain't gonna happen to me. I'm doing what I'm doing for the Lord, and then next thing you know, that time come and you done got put in the concentration camp, and you sitting here cursing the Lord out like I did all I could do. You know, that could be in the nigga mindset, man. You know, nah, man, it's just going on. I don't believe no more. It's some bullshit. Well, you didn't really uh, count the cost, man. You didn't really uh, believe in these scriptures and what the Lord was speaking to us and warning us from, you know. And and really, in all reality, it's all to prove your patience. It's all to prove your faith in the Lord. And it's to show the power in the Lord. The Lord shows his power in, 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 in the uh, remnant, in the small remnant, man. You see, the Lord be more glorified, you know, when... If I could put this in words, the Lord is a lot more glorified in uh, in adversity, you know, and that's why the Lord do what he do. I'm not saying I know the Lord ways, but there's some understanding the Lord and plugged into me to understand. And I just want to share it and put it out there for brothers. If this makes sense, a lot of your brothers, I hope I'm saying it right, you know, so um, it says, look at the generations of old and see did ever trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. You see? <laughs> this is beautiful, man. Because we gotta bank on these scriptures, man. These scriptures gotta gotta be resonated with us. That's why we the Lord have us putting these shows out there the way we do. You know, yeah, it's to wake up the elect, but it's also for you. What I've learned for this month, when we went to the apostles, you know, Elder Apostle Taha, he was asking brothers questions and on Daniel 7. And, um, you know, me personally, I had a, haven't went over it. So I didn't know certain things felt, look, felt like a dummy, you know. But I went home and I went through it. And now, you know, it, it, Daniel 7, it resonates with me. That I see why uh, uh, the brother also too he st that stuck with me, brother Barack Obama, love that brother. Um, he said to me years ago that um, when we do shows, it's a form of studying, and that's true. That's true, man, because it's it's in, it's plugged in you when when you're doing the show. When you do a show on it, it's it, it's it's in, it's in you. You know, it resonates with you. You know, but when you're not doing the show on that topic and you ain't go on that topping the wow it's like you kind of you forget and man look hey, this flesh is, is good for forgetting you know you can study hard and know certain things and then if you don't go over it it could be it just leaves man it just leaves you you know you're clueless again you know but um the lord it says verse 11 for the lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth of sins and saveth in a time of affliction so our Lord is a righteous power. You know, there was a video a uh, brother sent me. Um, I think another brother put it up where Esau was playing God. You know, I want to uh, do a little uh, response on that if I can, Lord willing. Um, because it shows that if Esau was God, Esau would be an evil God. But our God, which is Yahweh, is a righteous God. Because it shows you in a little clip. You know, if they little movie type scene where Esau was playing God and he was doing things to people, 
you know, doing things to people in the world just out of his own evilness and pleasure, you know? So um, it says, verse 12, uh, woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinners that go of two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. So if you, you know, you, you uh, losing faith and you go your own way, the Lord not going to defend you. You know, we do this works for the Lord to defend us, man. You know, where, where the scriptures say, who shall stand up for me against the evildoers? Well, the Lord have raised up prophets. You know, the prophets you see today are the prophets of old. Now, we don't know uh, who was who, but we do know that the prophet, the, uh, that reincarnation is, is scripture. Okay. That's how the things, that's how this thing works. Okay. You come back. Okay. The scriptures say the prophet is subject to the prophet. So every time the Lord sent forth a prophet and that prophet do the works of the Lord and, you know, he live out his day, he die, he come back as the prophet again. But this time is the end of the cycle. Because this is the end of Esau's kingdom and the beginning of Jacob that 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 cometh, okay? Because Jacob's kingdom is the kingdom of heaven, not Esau's kingdom. All right. So it says, "Woe be to the faint, fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinners that go of two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not; therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you?" They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. So this is why, you know, I just, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, the, the chip, the chip, you know, mark of the beast. It's clear as day. It's the mark of the beast. Okay. The RFID microchip. If you can't see that, then you're fucking blind, man. But the scripture here, verse 16, it says, They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well. What is well? Teaching teaching the elect the right things. You know, not looking for vainglory and a reputation, but teaching the elect right things so that the elect can be protected. Okay, by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. So it says, pleasing, it says uh, that they, the, uh, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law. So we uh, do we, we're teaching things that are pleasing unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, not to anger the Lord, not to anger Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you don't want to anger Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said if he don't uh, uh, gathereth, he scattereth. So you're supposed to gather the elect by his word not scatter them just to have your own vain glory man you know and pr and having pride what is pride to a man pride leave to a great fall man so teach truth verse 17 they that fear the lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight saying we will fall into the hands of the lord and not into the hands of men as for his majesty is, so is his mercy. You see? Because when you have the flesh, you're going to fall into Esau's hands. This is a prime example of you rappers. I know y'all watching. You rappers that sold your soul. Now, hey, Esau has all power over you. Then you get sacrificed when you rebel. You know? But we're not selling our soul to Esau. You know? Where, wherefore, Yahweh Bashim Shai. We want to fall into the hands of the Lord. Not the hands of men, man. Let me read that again. Saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy, man. And the Lord is very merciful. As we read, long suffering, man. Okay? So, you know, just to end, end the lesson off, um, uh, which is the uh, elder elder Manat Dezak's video? This shit is bogus, man. You know this woman calling herself Lion Queen and she's a black Israelite. You know making New York Post. You know shit is ridiculous, and that just proves that Esau can just uh, have anybody anybody come up or do something out in the public, whatever something crazy, and say I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a black Israelite. 
And all that's going to do is just put a bad name upon us. When this woman is out of order, look what she was wearing as the brother was showing in the picture. You know, ain't no such thing as no goddamn queen. All right. No Israelite woman was no queen. You know, calling yourself after that title, that means you're a whore. The Lord said, make not, make not uh, a holic, you know, out of the daughters of Israel, man. You know? But, um, you know, it is what it is, man. Being comfortable is not ready. And just knowing that persecution is 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 uh is coming because it's Jacob's trouble coming, you know, your mind, your you know, mind and spirit got to be right. You know, and I'm saying that for myself first, you know, and to push out there to brothers to keep in mind. You know, that's why we have to pray now, you know, every day, you know, be ready. It's not to put fear because the Lord said he don't give the spirit of fear. This is to uplift your faith, you know, and why you should be out here fervently in this truth. You know, uh, uh, teaching this, this word, being on fire, you know, being on fire, man, because ain't no holding back, man. You know, ain't no holding back. You know, troubles are weak. You know, this place called Babylon the Great. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.